What is going on everyone? Platinum Beast coming at you with yet another video today. Today we are going to be taking a look at where spot price has ended up for not just one week but two weeks. I'm going to explain that a little bit further in detail. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so as you know, my computer's been broken and in the shop and I haven't been making videos and that is very unfortunate. I feel very bad about that because I know you guys love seeing my everyday content I put out, but we are back. The computer is back and we are back in business. So we are going to get cranking on these videos and we are going to start that off with none other than the weekly spot price evaluation. Now, we're going to be doing two weeks in this video. We're going to do one week and then we're going to do an, the next week because I've missed like an entire week of videos and everything. So we're a little backtracked, but that's no problem at all. We're also going to take a look at the community poll post I posted a couple of weeks ago to see if you all were correct for that week. And be sure to stay on the lookout for Sunday or Monday when I post this upcoming week's poll to be included in next week's video. But with all that being said, let's dive right on in. So... We're going to go to the one month chart here, right? And we're starting off Monday, November 8th. So that's this week. But what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the previous week. So the previous week saw a rather large decline. That's November 1st. Okay, so bear with me. We're going to do this week, this previous week, and then we're going to do this current week. We're closing up right now. But November 1st, 2021 started out fairly high on platinum scale but it went down considerably tuesday stayed kind of flat through wednesday went down again thursday came up a little bit on friday and so on and so forth so that is an overall downward week we started that week off at 1063.27 we ended the week off at 1037.90 so that's definitely a down week for platinum i would say it's about $30 down. Now that's up from the week prior, so take that as you will. But it's definitely down from its start to its end. So what does that mean? Well, I mean, we can already see what happened the next week. But nevertheless, Platinum, what, I'm going to give that a down, okay? That's not even really a, a sideways. Sideways is more of like a $10, $15 range. When you get into $30 down, that's a down. So if you guess Platinum would be down, that would would have been correct now moving on we're going to take a look at gold and gold starting out on november 1st was 1792.12 and ending the week friday november 5th at 1817.81 so it's actually up wow so i don't know how many people will actually be correct on that poll i posted a couple weeks ago but we are looking at 1792 all the way up to 1817. So that's about a $25 increase. And if you're looking at this chart like I am, you can see that's a substantial increase over where it has been all the weeks prior, basically. And we can see going forward, it's just gone up. But we're going to talk about that later in the video. But nevertheless, gold decided to say, hey, I'm sick of being down here at the bottom and started to move its way up. And it's ended Friday, November 5th at 1817. Taking a look at silver. On November 1st, we started out at 2402, and Friday, November 5th, we ended out 2416. So that's almost a dead sideways movement. A little bit of downward turn towards the beginning of, or the middle of the week, but nothing substantial, so that's going to be a sideways. So platinum up, silver sideways, and or platinum down, silver sideways, gold up. That's crazy. All three metals moved in all three different directions. So that's very interesting. I don't know that we've seen a week like that since we started doing these polls to try to figure out spot price and where it's moving and things of that nature. But we're also going to take a look at Palladium and we're going to see here November 1st started out at 2053.94 and Friday, November 5th ended at 2040. So that's about a $13 decline. But that is much closer in number than Platinum. And because palladium is such a higher price, that means the percentage is even smaller. So I'm giving that a sideways. 
So that's interesting that Platinum and Palladium moved very differently that week. It definitely is very interesting because they typically move somewhat similar to one another in a way. That's not unheard of for them to move differently, but it's definitely interesting and it's definitely something we need to pay attention to. So we'll keep an eye on Palladium moving forward. Will it end up back at its $3,000 price point? I don't know. A lot of people think it's going to come back down. It very well could. We'll just have to wait and see. But we're going to go over and take a look at the community poll post to see you all's comments and votes and things of that nature. All right, everybody. So I've got the community poll post pulled up here, and it looks like we got some good results. So 148 votes. So 14% of you said all medals to the moon. Unfortunately, gold was the only one that was going up. 20% said all medals crashed like a comet. Platinum did indeed go down quite a bit. So you were right on platinum, but wrong really on the other medals, I would say. 55% said medals ain't going nowhere, sideways. 55% were correct, basically for silver and palladium, but not gold and platinum. 9% said platinum up. Well, you were just flat wrong, unfortunately. Me being the platinum beast, I always want platinum to go up. And 2% of you said mixed bag of goods. Comment below. So we're going to get into those comments to see what you all had to say. So we've got Pistol Pack and Pilots said gold, 1775, silver, 2305, platinum, 998, palladium, who cares? For the record, this week is a who's closest week between my fishy friend and I. Over or under, doesn't matter. This ain't the price is right. <laughs> Okay, so um, it looks like we had, I don't think you were correct on any of these numbers, unfortunately, Pistol Pack and Pilot. So I can't really give it to you this week, but we'll just have to wait and see next week, right? Once we get things moving and, and, and more in order. But I do appreciate your synopsis and you just listing out each price point at which you thought the medals would be at. That's a great kind of battle between you and Fish to take on. So thank you for that. And I applaud your efforts, my friend. And who knows? Maybe we will see these numbers. Maybe you were just not quite on the money for which week it would occur. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Bionic Fishy Fish said gold, 1834, silver, 2578, platinum, 1052, palladium, 2110. So I believe you were close on gold. Silver, you were you shot a little high, I think, if I remember correctly. Just a little bit. Platinum, you were within $20. So I'll say you were probably closer on platinum. And palladium... I think you were pretty close on it, but Pistol Pack and Pilot didn't even guess on that one, so you win regardless. But it looks like Bionic Fishy Fish win, won this week's poll. So congratulations, Bionic Fishy Fish. I do appreciate you all doing a little battle royale in the comments section. It's always fun to go that route. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens next week. But let me know, let me know what you all's thoughts are. Punchbowl Turd said, I'm taking the platinum up position this week because a trend looks to be developing. Well, you know, on Monday it was, but on Friday of that week, it was not, unfortunately. It came back down fairly quickly. So you were kind of correct in the very beginning, but unfortunately, that's not how the week ended up, Punchbowl Turd. But hopefully we will see some momentum here soon. Borderland Stacker said, metals will be stagnant, if not dropping a bit. Well, platinum did drop a little bit. Um... And palladium just kind of stayed flat. Silver stayed flat, but gold went went off. And it seems to be continuing to go off. We're going to take a look at this past week's as well here in a moment. A little bit different video, like I mentioned. But nevertheless, we'll, we'll see what happened in the following week. And last but not least, we've got Mr. Silver Referee said, I think all metals will be down, but not as much as Triple P is predicting, but we end this week sideways. So you were very much correct on Silver and Palladium uh, Referee. Unfortunately, Platinum did end up down for the week, and Gold ended up up quite a bit. So you were pretty close on some of the metals, but not quite perfect like you normally are, my friend. So we'll just have to wait and see what next week's hold. 
But thank you for everyone who decided to comment and participate in this poll. I enjoy doing this on a weekly basis, so be sure to get your votes in and be sure to stay tuned for Fridays when this video comes out. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go take a look at this prior week, which we do not have a poll for, but we're still going to take a look at the spot price and see what things went. Okay, so we are looking at the most current week for spot price chart and the changes that occurred within. We are going to start out here on Monday, November 8th. And it looks like Platinum started out at 10.36. Now it went way up for the week and ended at 10.97.95, almost $1,100. That is magnificent. We want to see that $1,100 price point again, not for purchasing, but just simply for seeing that Platinum is not going anywhere anytime soon. So... Will we see the $1,100 this upcoming week? We might. We very well might. We also could see it go substantially down like it has been known to do in certain weeks. But nevertheless, it looks like we started out Monday, November 8th at 1036. And we just climbed on Tuesday, climbed on Wednesday, climbed on Thursday, and a little taper down on Friday. And that's kind of normal. That's kind of the normal trend is to see a little bit of a sell-off towards the end of the week. I think people like trading this metal throughout the week and then sell it off so they can go buck wild over the weekend. No, I'm just kidding. But nevertheless, we do see a, a slight sell off almost every single Thursday to Friday. So we see a little bit of a dip, but even then it's only about $3. So platinum is up $50 or $60 actually. It ended at $10.97.95 over here. And yeah, so platinum's up. So hopefully you were thinking that platinum was going up for this week because it definitely did. And we may see some m movement throughout the remainder of the year. If you remember correctly, and I want to mention this and I want to show it. If you remember correctly, December of last year is when we saw it break that $1,000 threshold. So we might have another glorious December ahead of us. And then once we broke that $1,000 threshold, we went all the way to February and we broke $1,300. So we could see even higher highs in the next three or four months, but we'll just have to wait and see. But that's my prediction, so to speak. But I never tell anyone to go with just my thoughts and do your own due diligence and research and come up with your own conclusions, but keep that very much in mind, okay? So now is the time to buy platinum in the Platinum Beast's opinion. It is now, before we see those December spikes and January, February uptrends. But we'll just have to wait and see. I could be proven wrong. That would stink, but it's a possibility. So always make sure to make sure you are always making your own decisions that are best for you. So with that being said, platinum was up for the week. So where did gold end up? So gold started out Monday, November 8th at 1824.59 and we ended at 1872. That's almost another $50 increase. So that's another up. Gold is up for the week. And that's great to see because gold is magnificent. It is the king of all precious metals. Even though I'm the platinum beast, I'll say that. I love gold. I love stacking gold. I love holding gold forever. So that's a great thing to see in the realm of gold. Let me know what your thoughts are and why that may be down below. I'm kind of curious to hear your thoughts and opinions, so let me know all that in the comment section. Why is gold up for the past not only week, but two weeks? It's definitely interesting, and it's definitely something we should definitely pay attention to. Moving on, we're going to take a look at silver. And silver started out Monday, November 8th, 2021 at 24.45, and it ended the week at 25.42. That's almost a dollar increase, so I'm going to call that up. And you can see clearly on this chart that is up as well. So platinum's up, gold's up, silver's up. They're all up. So what does that mean? Well, I think people are starting to see, hey, there's this thing called inflation. It's happening. It's real. The government said it was fake. Nothing to worry about. I'm not blind. If you are blind, I apologize if that offended you. But most people can see what's going on. Even if you're blind, you still probably have money and you probably still spend money. So you know what's going on as well. But it's becoming clear as day to people that the government and their thoughts and ideas about nothing to worry about, 
nothing to see here. There's definitely something to see and there's definitely something to worry about. So could inflation be driving the prices of precious metals up? It very well could be in my opinion. And last but not least, we're gonna take a look at palladium. Started out the week at 20.34.50 and ended the week 21.43.42. That's a $110 increase and we are gonna give that an up for the week. So all metals are up. So hopefully somebody would have guessed all metals up on the poll, but nevertheless, Unfortunately, I didn't get the poll out because I just have been all over the place trying to figure things out. Nevertheless, we are back in business and I have my computer back, so we are going to see more and more videos coming out shortly. But I hope you enjoyed this video today. Be sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know your thoughts and opinions on spot price, where things ended up, where things are going, all that good stuff. Be sure to hit the like button. It really helps out the channel a lot. Hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date future updates on the Platinum Beast channel. And until next time, we'll see y'all.